Hey guys, now in this video, let's understand how we can deploy config settings of our function app in Azure portal. So guys, in Visual Studio, these settings are available in our local settings.json file. So again, these are key value pairs. So again, these are config settings. But when we deploy our function app in Azure, these settings do not get deployed. And so we have to explicitly create these settings in Azure. Let's actually see the demo and then in our next video, let's understand how we can deploy connection strings in Azure portal. So guys, again, connection string, they are also present in local settings.json file only, but they also do not get deployed when we deploy our function app in Azure portal. And now let's go to the Visual Studio. So guys, we are in Visual Studio and this is our function app and we are in this local settings.json file. Now let's assume our function app calls some external service or some external API and let's say this is the URL of that external service, right? So basically we have added this as a config settings. Now let's first read it in our function app. So let's go to this function.cs file and for, and for that let's actually create a new function. So let me just copy this. So this will be, so this function, it will be get external service URL and I can specify the route as external service slash get external service URL, right? And to read it from our local settings, I can say we are external service url is equal to environment dot get environment variable and to this let's provide this key name and here let's return this external service url And obviously you have to change the name of this function so guys we can provide any name so i can say so i can copy this and i can paste this as the name of this method that is this function now now let's run our project and now let's copy this external service api url and let's hit it in browser and see we have received the response and it is the same response as that of our local settings that means we have correctly read this config settings from local settings.json file and now let's actually deploy our function app in azure portal so let's just stop this execution right click on this project publish and here let's click on this publish to publish it in azure so so guys the publish has been successful and let's cross check in azure so let's click on function app let's open our function app So we are in this function app, we are under overview and under functions, if you go down, yes, we can see the newly created function that is get external service URL. So let's open it. I'll say get function URL. So basically now let's test this function. Let's copy this URL and let's hit it in new tab. And see guys. We have successfully called this function but then we have not received any response so it's because this setting has not been deployed in azure portal and again now as you can guess we have to explicitly create this in azure portal so let's copy this key name let's go to our function app so i will duplicate this tab home let's open our function app 
and on the left hand side let's go down and guys can you see this settings just click on this environment variables and basically under this app settings we have to add that config settings that is that key value pair so here let's click on this add and the name it will be again some external service so let's copy it and value i will say external service url added explicitly okay and let's say apply let's say apply let's say confirm so we have explicitly created this config setting in our function app in azure portal and now if we run our function again see this it is our same function that is get external service url and if i say refresh now and see now it worked and it has correctly returned that config setting as well so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening